What is up YouTube, Pulse here for my first video on this channel, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Xbox 360 SDK 21256.3, which is Xbox 360 Neighborhood. So in the link below in the description it will have a link to my website and the download for Xbox 360 Neighborhood will be down, I think 16 links in and it will say Neighborhood. Um, so once you do install Xbox 360 Neighborhood, I do have my console on just to show you guys connection. Um, this is a live showing on my console, it's just delayed by a few seconds from my capture card. But anyways, um, what you're going to need to do is open Neighborhood. I'm just going to minimize that just a bit. Once you've already installed it, um, I'm going to delete it so I can show you guys how to add it. So you just want to click Add Xbox 360. And the, sorry, the development kit came up on my other screen. So you're just going to click next and it's going to ask you for your 360 name or IP address. You do not need to type the IP address of your console because that does change every time it reboots. Um, so all you need to do is type JTAG if you have an active connection to your console through your plugins. I will have a link in the description below on how to do that. But once you do that, all you got to do is click next. And would you like to set JTAG as the default Xbox 360 development kit? You will click next again, and then you will click finish. And it will tell you what your local IP address is for your console anyways. So once you do that, your console will be connected. And basically, it'll give you full access to the hard drive on there. I am using a USB on my console because it is easier for me to access them. For some reason, USBs access faster than hard drives which are emulated Xbox hard drive so if you do want to use something fast if you're going to be using neighborhood I would recommend an external hard drive it does load a lot quicker but once you do that you can do anything from here and you can launch things like cell or dash launch but mainly neighborhood is meant to launch games to where you don't have to worry about opening um, XCX menu and getting your KV ban but I do have not ban but flagged but I do use Flash 360, uh, not Flash 360, I'm sorry, FX menu instead. Flash 360 is what I use to reflash my hard drive, my NAND. I'm just jumbling up my words today. Um, so yeah, guys, mainly what I use Neighborhood for is just launching my games. And I go into Dash Launch. You just got to find whatever you're going to cl double click on. And make sure you run the default XCX. If you're running a game... Then you will need to uh, click default MP because a lot of times if you're using bypasses and stuff, the game will um, it will crash if you load the default XCX. So I do recommend using that, guys. I will have a link below in the description. This video has only been about three minutes, so this is going to be one of my shorter ones. But if you guys do have any questions, let me know. Remember, please leave a like and a sub because I do try to make these videos for you guys. And I am trying to get 100,000 subscribers. I know it's going to take a while, seeing as though I probably will get this account close to something, but there's always hope. Um, so yeah, guys, leave a like and a sub below, and if you guys do have any other questions, let me know. I know some of these first videos I'm going to be posting are newbie tutorials, but I will be posting them mainly because there are people that are still getting consoles and they do not know. Plus, I have probably 80-something videos from my old channel that I think had... 4,000 subs when I closed it originally when I quit, but I came back, so I had to reopen one. Um, that's going to be it for this video, guys. It's about four minutes long. Remember, leave a like and a sub, and they are appreciated, and I will get back to you guys with a new video. Thanks.